What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 40 minute lean legs and strong abs workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up guys, I'm so excited that you're here for our 40 minute lean legs and strong abs workout. And I say strong abs because we're actually gonna be throwing dumbbells into your core exercises today, okay? Adding a little bit of resistance. We're moving right into the month of May, which means we're in month two of the Summertime Find Challenge, if you're following along. If you're not, this is month two, and you can always jump in to our challenge today. Today could be your day one, okay? In the Sydney Squad, we talk all about nutrition, so we're diving into the calories, the macros that you need for your body and your goals individually. We all have different goals, but understanding what you need to eat in order to get to your goals is the important part. So if you're tired of eating and not seeing the results, you think you're eating healthy, but nothing's changing, let me help you with that, okay? I can promise you, and there's Sydney Squad members in here watch, watching with us right now that have achieved those results. So make sure you sign up and join the Sydney Squad as well as if you're interested in just the calendar for the month of May, you can also just grab the calendar if you're not into the Facebook group, which will tell you the length of the workouts and the type of workouts you can expect for this entire month, all right? Whew. Okay, dumbbells today. We need 10s, 15s, and 20s, or that's what I'm using. You grab dumbbells that are in the medium to heavy range, okay? Also water and a sweat towel. Cool? All right. Give me a big deep breath. Let's get started into our warm up, okay? Hands on your hips, single leg butt kicks. In two, one, let's go. Good. Really pull those heels into your glutes. Just relax your foot, just let it kick back. Good job. Good, three, two, one. Let's go out nice and wide and slide side to side. Touching in with your opposite hand. We've got three rounds per exercise today. Okay, we're gonna take each one one at a time. So we're gonna really execute progressive overload today. So we'll get the movement in round one. Okay, master it there. And then moving forward, if you can advance your weight, or the rate at which you're doing your reps. We'll do that in rounds two and three. Come back to the front, reach your hips back, hinge back and squeeze forward. Great job. Feel the stretch in your hamstring and then squeeze the glutes forward. You're doing great. No impact today, so we don't have any jumping. Okay, I will, of course, show modifications. Come on back to the back of your mat. Let's go hamstring high kicks. I will show modifications if you need them, but for the most part, the modification will just be to decrease the range of motion. So don't go as low or drop the weight. Okay, so just so you know, moving forward, this is your workout. I'm here doing the best of my ability. All I expect of this is the same out of you. All right, come on back to the back of your mat. Let's stay right here. I want you to reach down, walk your hands out until you're in a pike position and just pedal your heels down towards the floor. Great job. There you go. And now walk forward just a little bit more. Drop those hips all the way to the floor. All right, come up and I want you to shift left and right. Let's get the core stretched out, get our hip flexors stretched out really good. Good. All right, tuck your toes down. I want you to pull back up and walk back in and let's get started on exercise number one, okay? Very first exercise, you're gonna go lateral lunge times two lateral raise times two, okay? Watch first and then we'll start together. So we're gonna go to the right, to the left, come back to the middle, right and left, okay? And then back into our lunges. Ready? Two, one, dumbbells here. Sit down and back, come together. Sit, together, lift and lift. Good, 
And with that lift, I want a good glute squeeze. Good. Try to keep your torso in the middle as you're lifting. That's it, 15 seconds. Squeeze the glutes, there you go. Five, four, two, one, rest, good. If you can increase the weights, let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna do mine as well. 15 seconds rest to get adjusted. Get your dumbbells ready. All right, two, one, let's go. Sit down and back, push your butt down and reach back into the heel. Squeeze, squeeze, there we go. Good, as you increase your weight, it'll be a little bit longer coming out of the bottom. So you're pushing a little bit more weight, right? Give yourself that time to go heavy. Good job, 10 more seconds. Come on, big push out of the leg. Two, one, rest. All right, can you go up again? I'm gonna try to go up again. If you feel it in your back or you feel like you can't control it, stay right where you are, okay? If you can, let's go up, last round. Two, one, here we go. Sit, big push. Go. Here we go, keep focus. Sit, sit. Make sure you have room to step out far enough. Okay, if you're getting in here too close, you won't be able, you won't be able to go down all the way. Ten more seconds, come on, push through. Proud of you, keep going. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job, let's drop down to our lighter weights. Okay, next one, just a sumo swing. So kind of like a kettlebell swing. We're gonna cross those dumbbells over, wide stance. You're gonna reach, drive forward. Okay, ready, let's go. Reach the hips, squeeze forward. You can also just use one dumbbell or a kettlebell if you have it nearby. Good job, 15 more seconds. Reach, dig those heels down, squeeze the glutes. You're using your back here a little bit, so it's okay to feel it in your back. Keep it flat. And rest, good. As long as you're not hurting in your back, it's okay, all right? 10 seconds. All right, here we go. Four, three, two, one, let's do it. Reach, drive those hips forward. So your weight transfers from your heels back here. Drive the heels down. Push forward. That's it, come on. Come through, you got 15 seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. Good job. We got one more round, guys. I had to put my hair up, it was smacking me in the face too much. <laughs> round three, this is it. Whew. All right, are you ready? Two, one, let's do it. Drive those heels in. If I can tell you anything, it will be to keep your heels down. Good, squeeze. Four, 
Flat back, come on. Fifteen seconds, you can do it. That's it. Stay strong, come on, drive the heels in. Three, two, one, rest. Beautiful job. Let's drop one of those dumbbells down and come on down for some core. Okay, dumbbell stays right at your chest. You're gonna reach, come up to one leg. Go back, come to one leg. Let's go. Jack knives or single leg toe touches, whatever you wanna call it, <laughs> to modify. Just keep your leg on the ground and switch. So I want you coming up, shoulder blades off the ground with that dumbbell at your chest so you have that resistance. Exhale on the way up. There you go. 10 more seconds, come on. Rest, good. All right, round number two, you doing all right? We've got two more rounds of those weighted jackknives. Big deep breath in, two, one, lift it up, let's go. These don't need to be fast. They need to be controlled. Keep that weight right over your chest. You'll feel the burn a little more if you control it down as well. Four, three, come on, two, one, rest. I got quiet there for a second. Gotta breathe throughout those, okay? I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> so exhale as you lift it up. You've got one more round here. Let's do it together. Three, two, one, here we go. Great job, last 20 seconds right here. Exhale up. Here we go, come on, we're in it together. 10 seconds left. That's it, three, two, one, rest. Great job, Whew. come on up. Grab one of your medium dumbbells, okay? And we're gonna go squat to reverse lunge pulse. Okay, so first move is a squat. Come up, go back, pulse, pulse, stand. Back into a squat, switch legs, pulse, pulse, stand. Let's go. All the way down and up on the squat. That feels good. You can grab two dumbbells. You can grab your heavier dumbbell. Good. Eight seconds. Rest, good. All right. Water if you need it. You're doing good. <clears throat> okay, round number two, you ready? Same thing, two, one, let's do it. Pulse twice in the back, come all the way up, squat deep again. Come on, we got it. 
If you need to modify, drop that dumbbell like I was saying and just go through the motions. Come on, we got this. 15 seconds left in round two. That's it. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, can you go up any? I'm gonna go up and wait here. Either add another dumbbell to your front rack hold or go with a heavier one, okay? We got it. Three, two, one, here we go. Sit down in that front heel. When you go back in the lunge, step back far enough so you feel your weight. Sit down in that front heel. There you go. Come on, keep pushing. Seven seconds, you with me still? Woo. I know this one's tough, come on. Three, two, one, rest. Your next move, grab your medium dumbbells. You're gonna grab both of them. You're gonna go sumo squat to calf raise. Coming down in front here, you're gonna sumo and calf raise at the top. Let's go ahead. <sighs> Lift, okay, from the side. Complete your whole squat and then go up into the calf raise, okay? Make sure your core is tight when you do the calf raise, okay, so you're not floating back and forth. Good job, feel those calves, squeeze. As always, no rush, focus on your form. Four, three, and rest, good. Whew. All right, on to round number two, you're doing good. Can you bump up and wait? If yes, grab those heavier dumbbells. I do want your arms relaxed though, so just leave them hanging in front, two, one, let's go. One sumo squat. Come up, rest them on your thighs. Lift the heels. Squeeze, good. As you squeeze your heels up, hold on to your glutes as well. So you're not kind of shifting here. Everything's straight and tall and lift from there, okay? Keep that breathing going. We're about to switch into abs after this round. Or one more round, I should say. Seven, six, two, one, rest. Okay. Round number three, we'll finish that one. And then we're going into some core, okay? So hold that back tight. Keep your breathing going. I know legs, it's easy to forget to breathe. Round three, let's go. Go to the front here. Good, it's okay if your chest comes forward a little bit as long as your back is flat. There you go. You got it, you got it. Fifteen more seconds, come on, you got it. down, that's it. Come on, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, grab one of your lighter dumbbells. We're moving back to the core, okay? Dumbbell hollow open to tuck, okay? So you're gonna tuck your knees in right here at your chest. Open your dumbbell up and shoot one leg out and then tuck it in. And then let's switch. Open hollow with one leg. Tuck it in. Let's go. Good. 
Good, come on. 15 seconds, reach open, tuck high. Get those shorter blades off the ground in your tuck. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. There is an option to advance this move. If you want, you can take both legs out in your hollow hold, okay? So open up your arms and open up both legs. All right, round number two, two, one. So if you wanna advance it, it'll look like this, and crunch, okay? Keep those thighs squeezed together if you do that. Regardless, if you're doing one or two legs, I need that low back to keep contact with the floor. Good job, 15 more seconds. Come on, I know. I know you're pushing through a good burn right now. Four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, one more round of that one. We've got two leg exercises after this and then three ab exercises. So the majority of the rest of our workout is core. Let's finish this one strong, okay? Ready? Here we go. Tuck and open. Open one or two. Regardless, keep your belly flat. Keep your breathing going. There you go. Knees as close to the chest as you can. 15 seconds, come on. That's it, four, three, two, one. Beautiful job, you've got reverse, reverse lunge knee drive with your dumbbells at your shins, okay? So, we're gonna take it down into a reverse lunge, grab your light dumbbells, okay? Dumbbells are gonna come around that front shin, so you're gonna lean over, and drive, then switch legs, okay? Let's go ahead. Step it back, dumbbells go around your shin, drive. Good. And what that does is kind of shifts your focus into your glutes, okay? So it gets you folding, reaching that hip back, driving it forward. Good job. Good, take it back, drive it right up in front. Alternating left and right. Four, three, two, one, rest. All right, breathe for a second. I know these legs and ab workouts are tough, okay? I know, I'm with you, you can hear me breathing super heavy too. We've got it though, we can do this. This month is about getting strong, we're doing it together. Round two. Let's go. Good, focus. Keep the core tight. We worked a lot on balance last month. Put it into play here. Good work, good work. Focus and breathe. Good job, come on, seven, six. Rest, good. Okay, one more round, if you can bump that weight up. Let's go, let's do it. Okay, whew. Still with me? Five seconds, last round and we're done with this move. All right, here we go. Two, one, let's do it. Good focus, good balance. I can tell I've definitely gotten better in my balance. Anyone else from last month? Comment, let me know if you have at the end of the workout. It's so beneficial when you can see those results come through that you're working for.
Good job, come on, 15 more seconds and we're done with this move. That's it, three, two, one, rest. Good job. Your next move, front squat pulses, okay? Throw those dumbbells right at your chest, on your shoulders. You can hold them here, or you can throw them here on your shoulders, okay? Let's go down front squat, pulsing twice. One, two, stand. Here we go. One, two, come all the way up. That's it, it's you and your squat here. Three rounds of 45 seconds, and we're done with your legs for the day. Make sure you're putting in all the work you can. Come on. Good job, good job. Seven, six. Good job, rest. All right, can you go up? You've got three rounds total, so make up your mind. If you wanna go up this round, you wanna go up next round. Challenge yourself to go up once though, okay? Let's do that. Round number two. Two, one, sit it down, let's go. Good. This top rack position requires a little more out of your core. Okay, so keep it upright. Good, 15 seconds, come on. I'm with you. Good, work, work, work through it. Six, five. Let's go one more together. Two, one, rest, and last round. Can you go up one last time? Or go up for the first time this round for this exercise. It's all core from here on out, okay? So give me what you got left of your legs. Three, two, one, here we go. Good job, come on. We got it, we got it. Push into the floor, come on. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Rest, beautiful job. Woo! Grab some water, amazing job. Grab one of your light dumbbells again. Let's roll it on back. Whew. All right, we're gonna go dumbbell crunch into a reverse crunch. So bring your knees bent, flat feet. I want you to crunch up first here with your dumbbell. One crunch, lay it back, reverse crunch, go back down. Okay, crunch up top, pull the knees to the chest and back down. If you need to modify, just go one knee for that reverse crunch. Your goal on the crunch with the dumbbell is to get your shoulder blades off the floor. So you're kind of going diagonal forward. Two, one, rest, good job. Whew. All right. Big deep breath. We got two more rounds of that one. We're just gonna burn it out here on this one, okay? Three, two, let's start with the upper body first. Let's go. Crunch, relax, knees to chest, slow on the way out. Good. Here we go, focus. Pull with your lower abs. Make sure you're not on the legs that are reverse crunching. Make sure you're not bringing one up at a time, okay? 
pull them in together and roll up, control down. Three, two, one, rest, good. Bring that dumbbell down, relax your arms for a second. If you can go up and wait, I'm gonna do the same thing. We'll grab a heavier one for this last round. Whew. All right, you ready? Two, one, let's get it guys. Come on, last round of this one. Keep breathing. Yes, it's burning. We're in it together. Exhale. Fifteen seconds. Let's do it. Come on, it's me and you. Seven, six, three, two, one. Bring that dumbbell down to your chest. If you want to go back to the lighter dumbbell, you can. We're going to go straight arm sit-ups. Dumbbell starts right over your chest. You're going to sit up and shoot your head through your arms with your hands ending up over your head, your head through your arms. Okay, and then just reverse that on the way down. Let's go. Good, keep your arms straight. Straight arms, sit up. Good, come on, 15 more seconds. That's it. Nine, eight, seven, let's go. Rest, Whew, great job. Evaluate, do you wanna go up? Can you go up? If yes, let's do it. This is exercise number 10 out of 11. So we're gonna do three here, three rounds of one more, and we've made it, so let's push it. Ready, here we go. Good. Keep that arm straight, or both arms straight. <laughs> Roll it down with control. If you want to modify, go to a lower weight, or just keep the arms going like there is a dumbbell there, okay? Reach it up, hands are up, roll it down. Seven, six, two, one, rest, good. Okay, one more round here. That's it. All right, five seconds, let's do it. Woo, three, two, one, let's go. Up, roll down. Come on, last round of this move, and you're done with it. Try not to swing the dumbbell back behind your head. Keep it over your chest. Pull the abs down, shoot your head through your arms. Come on, we got it. Good, come on, come on. Nine, eight, seven. And rest. Beautiful job, you're gonna wanna go back to your lightest dumbbell now, okay? Bend your knees for me. It's gonna be a little bit of a rotation. So start in the middle. I want you to shift over and crunch to the right, over crunch to the left. Okay, let's go ahead. You don't have to come all the way up. Just give me a crunch towards the outside of that knee. Kind of like a Russian twist mixed in with a crunch. <sighs> 
15 seconds. Nine, eight. That's it, three, two, one. Rest, good. Bring your arms here, relax the arms. I know it's a lot of arm on this one as well, but I want you to come, if you watch me really quick, I want you to crunch up till you're off your shoulder blades and just shift it over outside that front leg. Round two, let's go. Good, come on, come on. Ah, I know, it's burning. Whew. We're doing it, we're almost there. Come on, come on. This is it, right here. You've got 15 seconds and one more round. 10, nine, five, four, three, two, one, beautiful rest, and we've got one more round. All right, think about this time. Same move, but I want you to think about your opposite side shoulder, getting over as close to that knee as you can. Ready, last round, let's do it together, let's go hard. Two, one, burn it out, here we go. Reach that opposite shoulder up. Good, come on. It's okay if you make an ugly squeeze face. Come on. That's it, modify, take the dumbbell out. Still give me that crunch up and over. 15, 14. Come on, seven, six, you got it, you got it. Three, two, one, and rest. Guys, we've made it. Oh, whew, through your 40 minute lean legs and strong abs workout. And I can bet if you just went hard on that last part, your abs are feeling maybe weak right, right now, but they're getting stronger each time we do stuff like this. So let's flip it over onto your stomach. I've got to cool down nice and long intentionally for you. So drop those hips down. Whew, and let's close out this day making sure we get the whole picture warmed up. We worked hard, now we gotta cool down, and then we'll head out and move on with our day. <sighs> Sit your hips back, right over your calves. Make sure you stay here for this. I incorporate this into your workout time so that you can do it. It is very important to cool down. <sighs> Good job, come back up into tabletop position. I want you to shift your hips side to side, letting them fall over to the right, to the left. Keep your hands pressed into the floor. Good, I wanna feel that outer glute shift out and stretch. Also a little relief for your lower back, right? Okay, bring it back to the middle. Separate your knees just a little, and I want you to shift in big circles with your hips going back, left, up, right. Good. Okay, now switch directions. Let's go the other way. Right, front, left, back. Great job, come back to the middle. Tuck your toes down and let's lift up Shoot your heels to the floor, okay? First thing I want you to do is stretch your calves. So shoot your heels down to the floor as you push into your mat with your hands, getting those hips way back over your heels. Great job today. Be aware of how hard you work today as you walk your hands back to your toes, grab onto your elbows and just relax your head in between your hands. Good, let your neck relax for a second. You did fantastic today. That was not easy and this month is all about pushing to those limits. The one where you felt about halfway through, 
you were super tired, you thought maybe this is too much, you thought maybe about walking away from the workout, but you kept going. Bend your knees just slightly and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Okay, that kind of mental strength is what's gonna get us through this next month and on this journey, staying on this journey. Pull your left heel up to your glute. Really stretch those quads. Over the next couple days, things might start getting a little more sore than normal, okay? So moving forward, keep moving. I talk a lot in the group about non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Staying active throughout the day is what that big term means. Just being active, getting up from your desk once an hour and just taking a lap, okay? If you're a stay-at-home mom, getting up once an hour, just stepping outside, going or lap around your apartment, around your house, okay? Pull your other leg up, just take a lap. Just stay moving a little bit more frequently this month, okay? That's my goal for you. And that'll help with soreness, it'll help with stiffness, mobility. Also, it'll help keep your mind active throughout the day. Once you get tired, there's always that kind of lingering feeling of like, maybe I wanna take a nap for like 15 minutes, right? If you're a stay-at-home mom, <laughs> maybe you wanna take a nap with your kids this month. Take a lap instead of taking a nap, okay? It'll wake your brain up a little bit more, get you moving, help you some of that soreness out. Cross your arms over your chest. Anytime time you think about it, instead of a nap, take a lap, okay? Let's just stay moving a little bit more this month. And as the clock rolls down to zero, guys, I am so proud of you. I know that workout was a tough one. I'm feeling it here, feeling it here, but the whole goal for this month is strength, is to get stronger and to build the muscles that we wanna see come through as we eat the way to get our body fat decreased, okay? Or to show that definition, whatever your goals are. So that's my goal for you. Your goal for yourself should be to take that step to figure out what gets you closer to your results, okay? If you wanna stay kind of spinning and guessing and trying to figure it out yourself, then you're gonna waste a lot of time, right? I've been there, I've done that. I've wasted time trying to figure it out for myself until I put in the time a couple years ago as a personal trainer starting out to do the research Okay, that doesn't lie. That's been backed, it's been studied, it's been done over and over again. And so we talk a lot about the research back science in nutrition in that group. So make sure you check it out. Make sure you join us there. I go, I go live every Monday and Wednesday night for long hour, hour and a half discussions. And then every day throughout just checking in, answering questions. So it's totally worth it. It's worth your time. It's worth your investment to take that first step to getting closer to your goals. Okay, so take that step today. Join me in the Sydney Squad. The link is in the description. If you're not interested in that, if you just wanna grab the calendar for May so you can rock it on your own and check off the days as we go, that's also the second thing, the second link in the description below, okay? I love you guys, I'm so proud of you. Let's crush this month. Before you head out, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel as we keep growing. I wanna grow with you. Lastly, turn on that bell notification over there and I'll shoot you an alert every single time I post your workout. I will see you tomorrow. Great job, guys.